Good evening. Um, my name is Krista Cody. I'll be helping you guys out this month with getting your game set up to be one big playthrough based on all your mechanics you guys have from last month. So let's get started a little bit. Um, just as a note, please, if you want faster feedback, more feedback, uh, real-time feedback, please hit me up in Discord. I'm always on it. We'll always see it. So let's kind of go over your game. I believe we played your game the other day in class. Uh, I'm not sure it sounds like the video didn't get uploaded or messed up. So we'll try to do it again. I don't remember everything he talked about and went over. You guys were also in there with us. Um, options. I know we kind of talked about um, a gamma brightness slider and playing a sound effect when you move your slider. But okay. Forward, Wazda, spacebar, crouch. Dash, let's see, control, shift, E to interact, throw, block, hook shot, G, okay. I'm going to have to return to that. Options level 6. So again, um, or maybe not again for you guys, but on my initial playthrough, I'm going to try to play through your game as just a single playthrough. Um, if that goes too fast or doesn't go too far because you haven't been long in doing it, then I'll play through your level select. Hopefully later on as the month goes on, I'll play less of your level select and more of this. Play. Checkpoint. Right. So my main thing is if I'm in this game, you know, Give me an idea of what to do. Hey, get to the end of the level or you know, stuff like that. Like, what is the overall objective of what I'm doing? Hold space to jump. So the only issue I have with these is cool. You have the red lights flashing and everything, but it is still really dark. Brighten those up. Was the to move. Hold space bar to jump. Okay. Shift to dash. Give me a dash sound. Huh, huh, huh. Escape and P to pause. And figure that out. No, I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. I thought that was music. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. What was down here? Wrong way. Okay. Huh, huh, let me jump sound. I, I hit shift, didn't I? I, I am hitting shift. What? Am I missing something here already? There's no way. Waza, hold space to jump. Uh, I'm used to tapping. Press E to interact. Okay. Left click to shield throw. I want to hear that Captain America bling bling. Left click to shield return. Uh, doesn't look like it. So I left click and do nothing. Left click return. Like if I don't do anything, it returns. It seems like it's doing the same thing. I'm not feeling the I'm not feeling the return of me doing it. Oh, I can't walk with a shield? Danger. You got sounds, get some uh, effects in there, simple sparks or something to help show it off. Uh, have a death animation of like, kind of falling, blowing up, or something. What are you guys playing? Just the thing is, don't just have your dead enemies just disappear, it looks awkward. Shh. 
Shield jump. Shield sticks to special walls. Okay. I'm not really... So how do I make it stick in a special wall? I guess I have to jump off. That's like barely makeable. Watch for stuff like this. Unless that's what you want. So again, like objectives of things, like just kind of let people know, like, hey, hit all the buttons to progress type thing. Kind of like what Jose mentioned, have that light up possibly. What is this? Okay, I remember all this stuff. I remember seeing it, I don't really remember what to do specifically. You want me to get up there? This is kind of awkward, like I can't aim anywhere with this, like, I mean, up and down. I know we talked about that before, but then you have enemies that can do it. shield that was going up when I was doing stamina or dash but Sit here and wait. No, it costs me. No offense, I don't feel like playing platformer for thirty minutes. Oh. To get your perfect jumps. Let's see them how they do it. I know it was mentioned when we were playing through, um, and I brought it up when we were talking, but yeah, you might want to do something like a, a large area in front of the player that will auto lock the people who are 
a little bit up and a little bit down. That way they don't have to you know, just totally miss them. Shield sticks to special walls. All right, we're doing this again. Hey, I don't have a double jump. How do I hit this guy? I just gotta hope. Looks like it auto does it. I came from that way. I assume there's much you want me to go over here. Are you kidding me? This is why I dislike flight platforms. I work forever for nothing. That's the gamer talking, not uh, not your instructor. I can like put it down and then use it right here. Gonna jump. Sorry I'm not talking right now, there's not much to really talk about until I can get to the next part. Jump, hold, dash! Oh my goodness. Right, you got arrows that way. Oh, music changes, checkpoint. I didn't notice this about your mini-map, like, your guy is really tiny on the mini-map. You might want to look in this stuff, like, you know, get icons going so you can use the actual position of your little dot of your guy from far away. But then, you know, put an arrow, they'll put it know where they're facing, where they're going. You start doing that for other things, like instead of seeing enemies, for example, or the actual models of the power ups and pickups on the uh, mini map, just where they would be, you can then display an icon.
if I recall, this is supposed to be like your... Whoa, I didn't want to do that. You win, thanks for playing. I didn't... I want to... No. I want to go back down. Door. Door. Door to win. The level is over for now. Explore the hub world for Easter eggs or play a different level. How do I explore the hub world? Take the elevator back down? Four spoons. Okay. I just wish I could go play the hub world. Door to toy box. I don't want to do that. Warren, Nathan's, Ryan's, Curtis, Brandon, there's four of you. Six, seven. Got eight people on this team? Man. Um, door to Sandcrafter. Don't forget that you can throw the shield with left click. You can also jump on the shield when it's lodged into the wall to bounce off of it. Okay. This particular pressure pad needs a box to sit on it. What pressure pad? That the pressure pad? Doesn't seem like it. And I can't throw my shield with this on, can I? Oh, I guess I'm to do this. Jump so high on that. Now what? I'm not sure where to go. Get some momentum before going to the ramp and gain some air time. How do you do that? How do I gain momentum? And no controls. No oh, wait. Dash shift. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Don't know.
Press C to toggle shield sled. You can use this to slide down. Okay. Maybe that's how I get my move done. Level is unfinished and lacks certain functionality. Shield sled still works, so you can have these fun. Okay. Um, and I was terrible and forgot how to do it already. C. We okay, okay, let's go. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Right, let's try that again. Obviously, I could take the shield off and just run around and make it easier, but I want to have a little fun and see if we break anything. Um, I don't know how to get back to your hub world to do everything else, so we're going to have to do this. Uh, I think tutorial is the thing I played through. Yeah. Okay. I would like to see like how you have your sign showing you stuff. I would like to see the sign. And you walk up to the sign and it'll do the pop up like the scrolls. That'd be cool. Or just have scrolls everywhere. The, 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 the information when it pops up via the scroll is much more readable. Like this is much, well, obviously nothing to read there, but this area is a lot easier to read than, you know, a tiny sign. Can't bounce off it. Of oh, there we go. What happened to my shield? I have a certain amount I can do it. See if there's any crazy mechanic in here that I can talk about. What's this? E. Oh yeah, I remember this. Sometimes if I do this, I just go off into space. So you probably don't want that. Okay. Okay. Milestone one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I counted eight. I'm going to actually play your milestone two in hopes that it's the same thing, but, you know, better. It looks like I'm starting in the same area, so. If that is not the case, I guess let me know and I can play it. Need more cans to win, okay? Like that went right underneath him. It went underneath him and hit him on the way back. What's that guy doing? What's that? He's turning sideways. All right. Like this right here, like what what am I supposed to do with this? Now I don't have a shield. Uh, it seems a little awkward. 
it needs some type of like homing because yeah yeah that's what I want it no that's This, there we go. I only lost half my life trying to do that. I'm hitting shift, shift non-stop and nothing's happening. All right, now we're gonna hit shift again. I have to jump. Pipes, cans, scans, boxes. I don't know if you're supposed to jump on top of that wall piece or not. What's he doing? So 
he can shoot me with I I don't like that at all. And now I don't have a shield again for X amount of time and I got shot from somewhere. I don't know. There's an enemy. Get him. Nope, I missed. Alright, later. There's another one. Missed again. I don't care. Can't move, they're hitting me. Uh, my shield is. What's going on? What? No clue what that did. Actually, what was it? This way? Or is it this way? Had to throw it through it. There we go. You know how fast they shoot? And me having to look directly at them every time I try to stop and turn to look at them, and, you know, it's free shots for them almost every time. No, I didn't even have my shield with me. Why doesn't my shield like run out of stamina or something? It just seems awkward to me. Like, cause like here, I'm. 
I'm non-stop throwing a shield. There's supposed to be damage on your shield? Alright, so say it is the, like, I can only, does it not recharge or get more health? It has to die and then have a new shield come up? And straight missed him. Won't do anything to him. Oh, I just straight missed the guy right in front of me. Oh, yeah. No, I'm dead. So all these are green. Here's a red. Okay. Where do you go to, red? Go up there. You go down. You go this way. Okay. And you can't get that one, but it goes this way. I can't get that one. Let's try to cheat. Yep, okay. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but obviously I was able to stick it in the wall here, come over here, and tell it to return where it went through all the geometry. Pink. So I don't know if that's intended or not. I would assume not, because you're just letting stuff just go through walls. Seems kind of awkward. But who knows? Oh, so that means actually let's do this. Here. Course here, and over the second row, about here, over here, and return. work. Once again, not sure if that's what you want. How do I do this? Okay, that's all green. That was all green. Green button, green line, spinny thing, green, green, green. Red stuff. I do not even remember who's level I'm playing. I'm gonna get the weight for my shield to get remade or something. I don't know what's going on with that. Pressure pad above by throwing the shield into it. Walk across the top aisles. Okay. okay.
but having to face right at him and then missing is like. It makes it takes easy damage on the player and they die really easily. What's this guy doing? Alright, alright, here. I could have sworn I did this. Just squeeze in there. I probably missed the button or something. Maybe because I respawned. What, what's going on here? A lot of people like to do that. Like, just simple jumps have to be the max held down jump height. It just seems awkward. Did I not? What have I happened here? Is this like a timer? Right, let me make sure. Here I am just assuming stuff. Oh, there's a problem. I removed my shield. Ah, I thought once I did it, it's there. My bad. What is this? Oh, there we go. Get it. As a computer generated character, I need to practice. Work myself up to it. Alright, two out of three. Where's the third one? My shield guy. You guys ever stop firing so I can turn around in? Because I have to be perfectly in line with them, it makes me like, you know, run into their bullets basically. Yay! I just don't want to jump down without being able to get back up. Numbers above the conveyor belt track how many items each assembly. Oh, I think I already did this, didn't I? I did that because I watched Jose do it before, so I kind of knew what to do. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I just wish it would throw in the camera my direct camera, the direction my camera is facing. So I could do this, and just like almost from the side, throw it. I just straight missed them, missed them. Oh, I got them on the way back. Grab the item, and pay your belts and assuming them. Yep, 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 yep. Did that.
Does this lead you to the uh Okay, no, I did that. Should be all the way around here. Of course I would. Can you put me way back here? Oh. Yeah, you watched you this time. Made sure you got up there. Alright, I've seen him open this up. I can't figure it out. I want to play your other stuff. Okay, a lot of the stuff was good. Um, my biggest thing is just being able to shoot those guys easily. I think I just did this, so... Let me spend time playing some other people's stuff. Welcome to Upside Down City. It has invisible walls. A little bit of frame rate on this. I don't know if it's just my laptop. Or... I mean, it might be, you know, all these assets, you know, all that stuff. So I might want to look into maybe making this so you can't see exactly everything on the other side. Well, I guess I don't do that. Look at this. Look at this carpet. Let me out of here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I hear something. These elevators? No clue how to get out of here. Is there, there's an arrow. Okay, there we go. Finally. Mm -hmm. A little hard to see that.
can't throw my shield? Well, probably because those things are too close to me. Drone drop off. Hop right on. Sure. Can't throw my shield. Oh, there we go. Ah, I found it. All right, found it. so the little corners, I think, look, she. Know if you're supposed to do that, how about that? Did you just kill me for that? Oh, I gotta do this stuff again. I mean, maybe that's how you guys have it set up, or you're supposed to do it. Take me back over here. Okay. But I do have to jump off. You guys don't go anywhere else with it. Okay. Oh. Find those little corners. Oh no. You got something up there that's killing me. Uh, like, I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. You probably just have to get something that doesn't allow me to do that. I got to do it more the right way. Honestly, this is why you just wanted to find those. Uh, nope. Find those holes. I would just fix those corners where they can't uh, do that.
the sewers. Right, shift the dash. Grapple when. Alright. Wasn't it F? You didn't even tell me, didn't you? Yeah, F the grapple. I gotta W A S D shift while I dash space bar to jump dash and I gotta hit F. I'm hitting F and nothing. I see it lighting up. But I don't. Yeah, yeah. If that's the case, then what's the point of all the other stuff? Oh, am I just too tall to? Do it. Where's my crouch button? Blip, 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 blip. All right. If I fall in water, I get to do all this stuff again. Oh, no. Is there a reason we just don't have all the water drain? That way it's not confusing as in I'll die if I jump into water. Oh, a six pack. Like I mentioned the other day, you know, with your shield and even this grenade, like I would have a little bitty reticle, even a little dot. And I said I would just allow them to kind of shoot and throw a grenade wherever they look. Am I all out of grenades already? My goodness. back around okay so we're back there this just helps me see who the what level I'm on level select milestone I think we did Brandon just now let me double check yeah okay Go through level select milestone two Austin what you got interact with color splats simply walk over it this will change the color of your armor to the color of the splat you walked over, allowing you to use the same color blocks to jump on. After 30 seconds, the color will fall off your armor and create a new splat near your pickup again. So, I remember we were dealing with this the other day. What's, why, is there a timer for it? If, the, if it just, hey, I'm frozen, but my timer's still going. Um, use the splat port you will need to have picked up a color from the color splat. Once you have a color, you can walk onto the port and be able to teleport to, like, to the other portal matching color. Okay. That makes these portals look a little bit more like portals other than blocks. I know we talked about that the other day. Like why, so it drops, right? Why do I need Jump further with the dash shift key. Why do I need um, like 30 seconds and it falls off and oh, I'm not done yet. Let me pick it back up again. 30 seconds to fall off. Like, why doesn't it just like let me drop it the color or get a new color?
remember Jose playing this. I just probably make it more apparent of what uh what color you have. Like even right here, I know I got green. Did you go back to red? And also, yeah, I know you guys mentioned on the colors when they drop, they'll be underneath this geometry. So obviously, make sure you guys fix that. And I'm mistaken, wasn't I a different color and I picked up red when I started this? And now I'm red again? But I have no time. I'm unsure of... Right now I'm just looking more for your mechanic of stuff and I remember it from before. I think the big, the big thing is just going to be show, obviously clean up your timers. What also might be nice is uh, maybe color code your timers. I have like a red for your red one, a blue for your blue one, stuff like that. But basically make sure it's A, uh, very clear as to what color you have, how much time you have. Um, how much time you have is up there in big text, so that's fine. What color you have on your player I think is a little subtle. So maybe you really go nuts with it, like a nice lime green, a nice bright green. An easier green than like you know forest green. Same thing, you know, nice bright red, almost like your your top left hand corner rather than. So it looks like I'm getting multiple colors at the same time. Is that loud? Or should like I drop one color when I pick the next color up? Stuff like that. Basically, really showing off your colors, which one you have, how much time you have them, when they fall off, notifying, showing that, showing where the thing is. And then the other big issue I had was like basically your portals are like they just look like boxes. So, I mean, even if you put the word, just write the word portal on them for now, that will be helpful. And just make sure it's all understandable. Because, <clears throat> I mean, everything worked. You had your boxes that you bounce off of. You had your portals working. That was Austin, so Herbert. What is this? Okay, I remember this one. This is your sled one. My big thing about this one we were playing the other day for feedback was you have a level and you have areas where you have ice and you guys slide around on, but then you literally have an ability for your shield to slide on. Like, I'm not saying lose ice because that using ice helps show where things are and where this hazard is. Um, but I was like, why don't you use your shield to slide around? Maybe you use your shield to slide around the ice just to be more thematic and keep up with everything. I didn't get my shield ability yet, so whatever. You know what I just realized with your grapple? You have it like this bright blue, and then it turns this dark purple. I'd probably do that the opposite way. Like have a have your two D um, icon a little bit bigger, maybe like four times the size, or maybe it's just like a middle block. One, two, you know, nine times the size, so nine blocks around it. And then I would use your the notification of it's ready to be grappled to, like much brighter. Yeah, I would do your brighter one. That helps out a lot. And back to the hub. Okay. Oh, I need more cans. Yeah, I bet I do. Okay, who is next? So we kind of looked at those. Actually, he kind of looked at all of them, right? So Nathan, so three more. High rise construction. Press T to T key to slow down time. 
I don't have a T key. I have a T. Hold space bar to jump further and higher. I want those sounds. I want those slowed down like this too. Is this just a toggle? T, T, T. Okay. Uh, I'm not slowed anymore. But you kind of need something, you know, like how, how does the player know how much time they have left? Really? You know, in the classic one is, you know, get that like ticking timer, tick, 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 you know, so it's going faster. Oh my goodness. I tried to double jump. Too many. <laughs> Some games have double jumps, some don't. Oh my goodness. It feels like sometimes I'm going fast, but sometimes I'm going slow. Alright, there we go. Ah! E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What'd I do? Not a hundred percent sure what that is and what it's doing. I guess it did all this. face there it is Wake me up when my shield's ready. Huh? Oh, okay, I have to play again. Does that have a... Don't tell me it was like that the whole time, I just didn't notice. I seen the bars and thought I had to kill everybody. Yeah. 
bridges out. Bridges out, no entry, intrusion will be dealt with accordingly. Right. Let's go. Do this. What space key? Yeah, I told you that. Like this right here. This. At least they shoot slow. Well, they don't even shoot far. Oh, he's hitting something else. Oh, okay. Wrong way. I tried to double jump. I keep forgetting. <laughs> you guys don't have double jump. The other games do. You just have dash. Now what? Oh. Sometimes it seems like those jumps are a little too big. just happen there. No big issues. I hear you. Control was what I was looking for in the uh, that one level. No shield. A little bit of frame rate I can feel. A little, a little hits. G to throw a grenade.
don't do anything to those guys. Oh, that's something. Something I'm not supposed to jump on. My bad. I want to have some uh, distance fall off from the sounds of those guys shooting. Being kind of annoying. Yeah, there's just a lot of bullets getting fired now and I don't even see anybody. sounds So the other big thing with your stuff, you know, I'll go to the hub world and everything like that, is think about, make sure the player understands what all they have to complete and how they progress through it all. Snowden Cave. Let me 
you told me anything what to do. So we're just gonna fall on ice, I guess. Can't go that way. Can't do that. Not sure. Green stuff. So here's the one thing about your ice stuff. So like, you know, I stop moving and look at me slide. But if I run to the left and run to the right, instant. I don't have any, you know, I'm facing left but still sliding right. So you might want to look into that, depending on how quote unquote realistic you want it. I mean, I don't really care either way too much. Wait for my shield. The enemy's too close, so I can't throw my shield. Luckily, he's not attacking me. What did I just get? He's like a dead guy. I've never seen a dead guy before. So, what did I get from him? I got a key. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I'll just leave you alone. I don't really care. Because, like, as much control as I don't have, well, I mean, obviously going downhill is a different story, but... Like, so I'm sliding, but if I change directions, basically I'm not sliding anymore. It doesn't really matter. I don't know what these are. So I'm out of here. Uh, let's say you got some Z fighting going on. I mean, placeholder stuff, so not a huge issue. But I might have something else going on. The way that. Artifacting looks only on that section. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do now. We've already done all this.
And it just took me down the other way, and this one just goes back over here. Not a hundred percent sure on where to go. We'll double we'll check through the house again and then we'll see. Like it's cool that you have the sliding and everything, like ice, but you have that on your shield already. So that kind of a duplicate going on. The key is um, once you guys start stringing them together is just but a lot of people, it's not that they miss out on, which is they don't really think about until it's too late. Is, you know, remember, you know, in first level, introduce one or two things, or just basically make sure you're mixing your stuff later on. Obviously, I'm playing individual levels right now, so it's understandable, but I don't want to just like, oh, level three, you have nothing but, you know, sliding. And then level four, nothing but shooting. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you start sliding while you're shooting, shooting, then slide, slide, and shoot, you know, all that fun stuff. Okay, so that should be good for right now. Let me know if you guys have any issues, questions, or concerns. Anything you want to talk about, go over. Feel free to hit me up on Discord anytime. Um, we'll be doing more of these as we go. So uh, good luck. Let me know if you need anything.